Hey everybody, what is up? And welcome back to another episode of Moderately Anonymous MTG CEDH, the greatest CEDH channel in the multiverse. I got a really awesome episode for y'all today. We got some great guests coming back to the show. We got a bunch of friends. We got Billy, AKA Bad Luck Bandit. We've got our friend of the show, Hot Joke Seth. And we have got our special guest, Tyler from the Play to Win crew. And just quickly before we hop into it, just want to shout out our sponsors. If you want to pick up the cards that you see today, go use the TCG player affiliate link in the video description. You can also find our Dragon Shield affiliate link down there if you want to sleeve them up. Go hit up our bonfire store for some awesome merch. And of course, hit up our Patreon if you want to support the show directly. You can get tons of awesome benefits in there and get access to our private Discord. Thanks so much for watching and let's hop into it. First up is Mod playing Najeel of the Blade Blossom. This is a combat based combo deck that can pivot between using its commander and using breach lines to win the game. Next up is Seth playing Tivit Seller of Secrets. This is a mid-range control deck using its commander as a one-card wing con with time sieve and also using a suite of Esper Hate Bears to control the board and slow down the game. Tyler is playing his classic Kin and Bonder Prodigy. This is a list using Kinnon's ability to cheat big creatures directly onto the board to take over the game and win with beatdown or finale of devastation combos. And last up is Billy playing Light Paws Emperor's Voice. This is a Voltron stacks build using its commander to cheat enchantments into play while it controls the board and looks to win with combat damage. As always, this episode is brought to you by TCG Player. Hit that TCG Player affiliate link in the description to pick up any of the cards that you see in today's video. It's a great way to help out the channel. And we're also partnered with Dragon Shield. Pick up the greatest card sleeves and TCG accessories in the multiverse and support the show. All of these links are in the video description below. And thank you to all of our patrons who make great content like this possible. Become a patron to enjoy Patreon exclusive content, give direct support to the channel, join our Patreon Discord, and even get your deck featured on the show. And remember, if you enjoy this video, it helps out a lot to click that like and subscribe button. It's one of the best ways to support the channel and everyone is highly appreciated. And without further ado, let's hop into the game. Seth, you are bleeding again. Yeah, yeah. Stop doing that. You're a judge. <laughs> Judges can bleed. Wow, very not like blood, <laughs> but. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I'll keep this. Oh, nuts, gemstone caverns. Okay. I am gonna keep this four, and it is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> Everyone remember those words. Excellent. Noted, yeah. Got it. I genuinely think this plan is better than the last one, though. Okay. Free game actions, anybody? Not for me. Nope. All right. Good luck. Have fun. It's not what I wanted, but I will play Scrubland as my land for turn, and I will pass. I will draw for turn. I'll play an Exotic Orchard. <laughs> I'll play a Chromebox Pitch Spell Pierce. Two for an Arcane Signet, and I'll pass the turn. So here Seth goes for the turn one Arcane Signet. I think in his position, I probably would have gone for the Grim Monolith. That way we can hope to draw the extra land and then get a turn two Tibbet, which is super powerful on this board. Draw for turn. Play a Breeding Pool. Cool. And pay one for a Soul Ring. And say go. We see Tyler here also missing out on an extra land, which is very ironic. But clearly he's looking for that extra land for the Mox Diamond to get out Kinnon on turn one. As it stands, it's going to take him a while to start getting his colors online with what he's got, which is a pretty huge Temple Oz, which is personally something I really need at this table. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play a Snow Covered Plains. I'm going to play a Jeweled Lotus. Uh oh. Oh, I'm going to crack this to play Light Pulse. Uh I'm going to play a Mana Crypt. Oh no. Oh yikes. And I'm going to play a Torpor Orb. Oh you fool. I and, was uh, so close <laughs> to calling you the C word. <laughs> I will uh, Remember I'll kids, third. the C word is cool. Yeah. Fucking Christ, Billy. That sucks. <laughs> I hated that <laughs> shit. Okay, it didn't matter though. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna draw and I'm gonna pass. I <laughs> love my confidence that I thought I really was just gonna luck into the land on the next turn and it was gonna be a red source for this Dockside that extortion to take over the table. Like, I don't know why I thought that. I did not deserve it. Draw for turn. Here is a Misty Rainforest. Play a Grim Monolith. And then I will pass. So here we see that Seth did get his second land, and now he's playing out the Grim Monolith on turn two, and he's got five open mana, which possibly he's drawn an Ad Nauseam in his first couple draws, but more likely now he's just got five mana on turn two and nothing to do with it, so he has to pass the turn here. Very unfortunate when you could have that Tivit on board. All right, untap. Draw for turn. I'll leave one colorless floating. I'm tapping here for one and one blue, and I will cast a copy artifact, if that's okay. Yeah, copy door roar. I'll have that in there as an arcane signet. Yeah, freaks. 
<laughs> and <laughs> uh, upkeep on the roll for crypt. Uh, odds are in my favor. But I have the four, so I will take some damage. A card. Play Nykthos. Pay the alternate cost on Lash Knife. I'm going to tap an, a uh, untapped creature control instead of paying the cost. All right, I'm going to trigger late pause. Enjoy. Shield of duty and read. Uh, I'd like the path. I will move to my turn. Draw. I will pass the turn. Crack this and also cast Mystical Tutor. I'm going to respond to the Mystical Tutor with a mental misstep for two life. Sure. Godless Shrine tap. <laughs> this really easily could have been a game ender for us here. Obviously, Mystical Tutor doesn't directly get time sieve, but it does a great impersonation by going to get Transmute Artifact and Lightened Tutor, any of those that can really help Seth pull this out here. But again, luckily for the rest of the table, he has that little bit of tempo loss of not having played the turn one tibet. Yeah. Uh, here's one Sphinx. No ETB trigger. I will play an Arid Mesa and I'll pass the turn. All right. Oh, I can't get Godless Shrine with Mystery Reinforced, so. I'll get something else, but Ooh, it'll be the same. We cheated. Okay. Yep. You. Is it okay if I proceed while you're searching? Yeah, yeah. I'll crack the Arid Mesa now, too. And you know what? I'll get the Godless Shrine with the Arid Mesa so that everything is okay. Draw for turn. P2 with Soul Ring and cast an Arcane Zunit. P2, cast Cannon. Uh, that's it. Cool. That's the turn. Draw a card. Let me roll for my crypt. Five. Play Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Activate Nykthos. I'd like to play On Thin Ice. So I still have three white floating. That's mm -hmm. less sweet. I, I don't like that. All right, so I've got the trigger from Thin Ice and also the trigger from Light Paws. I'm going to have on Thin Ice target... Rebland? <laughs> uh, target Tibbet. Uh, are you going to pay three more? Oh, gosh, that's that stupid thing. I forgot about that. You Isn't that why you just said I have three white floating? floating? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I had other plans. No, that was oh, not what I was to do. That was just um, a flex. <laughs> no, I kind of want to target... I kind of want to target something else now. Oh my god, um, really? <sighs> I mean, to be fair, Seth is the person you're fighting right now. I don't know, I guess uh, Tyler is about to activate Kennen on his turn. Yeah, I guess targeting Tibbet. Pay the, the, that's the third one. I think unfortunately in Billy's shoes here, there's really no other target except for this Tibbet. Kennen, yeah, is a pretty good target. We know that Tyler's gonna start activating Kennen on his next turn, but Tibbet is a much bigger creature. It has one card combos. Cannon is always one good flip away from taking over the table, but it takes luck and chance where his Tibbet can really just tutor up the pieces and win the game immediately. Personally, I think it has to be the Tibbet here or my Scrubland. Then I get the trigger light balls. I will leave Tibbet in exile. I will not return to the command zone. I'll be responsible. I'll just get. That means it's going to be a bummer. Uh, I'll just get uh, a deer alarm. Oof. Yikes. <laughs> not the mm. kind of bummer I was anticipating, but definitely a bummer. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that's going to hurt. Cool. Uh, I'll go to combat mm -hmm. and I will attack Tyler. Uh, I will take six commander damage and go to 30. And then I will pass. Okay. I am going to move to my turn. Draw. Oof. I am going to pass the turn. Killing okay. it over there, Dan. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Greatest CD channel in the multiverse. <laughs> I will untap. I just want to know what's in your hand at this point. Oh, I, I mean, I'll just show you in a few, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> when you play it all? <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's why it's happening. The so windswept <laughs> heath. Crack this windswept heath and then I'll pass. Okay. Untap. Cast finale of devastation for X equals five. You are. That's a seaborn muse. Bud. I'm passing, yeah. Me too. Um, Judge Seth. Uh, Judge Seth. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, I am good to pass from there. Yeah. Uh, good untap. Yep, untap. Uh, draw a card. Billy, I'm looking at you for saviorship. At me? Yeah. I bet Help Billy's us. version of that is just murdering Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it probably uh, is. That counts as getting rid of the thing. Three. Okay, yeah, so the fine. thing you're next is the bad part. Thankfully, I'm mm. last because I have but one permanent. I'm going for the Baron Glory win, obviously. Tap Nykthos for five mana. Ooh, does that change anything? I hope five not. Mana, four, five. He sure is counting, though. He's a math teacher, too, so you know we're f <laughs> Four white floating. I'm going to play Sunbond. Yeah, we'll respond then. And flash in a Hullbreaker Horror. <gasps> um, I'm going to pay one and cast Veil of Summer, which will basically do nothing, but 
I'll use the Hope Breaker trigger to bounce the Sun Bond from the stack. Fine by me. I still have two floating, so I'm gonna yeah. cast Try Cloppy in Sight. Uh, is that good? Yeah, good passing. by me. Trigger? Mm -hmm. uh, all that glitters. We'll go to combat. Uh, I'm gonna attack Tyler. That should be 15. Sight yeah, that is exactly commander damage. You oh. got it. And then I will pass. I think maybe there's a different way that Tyler could have played this here. It's possible that we could send in the Hullbreaker during combat, cast that Veil, and get the pro blue enchantment off of Light Paws. And while that does mean you're committing nine mana to a chump blocker for Light Paws, it does keep you from dying, which is pretty important, especially when you have a Seaborn Muse on the table. It would have given him a lot of chances to get back into this game, but unfortunately the sequencing here didn't allow for that, so hooray for me and the rest of the table for not having to fight a Hullbreaker horror. I'm glad. Tyler was about to start murdering us. I can't wait to draw a good card now. Oh man, it was a fucking awesome one. Pass. All right, end of your turn. I'm gonna cast Tainted Pact. I am probably looking for a Cyclonic Rift here. But first, I'm gonna do rest now. Exciting. There's a Cyclonic Rift. I'll mm -hmm. take that Cyclonic. Um, then I will pay four mana, and untap Grumala. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I still had to discard it. You're in step here. It's gonna be Ignoble Hierarch. I will go ahead and pass the turn. I think there's an argument to be made that Seth is probably playing a little bit too conservatively here, maybe a little bit too reactively. I think with Tyler gone and with Billy on Mono White, me being way behind on board, I might have counter spells in hand, but obviously I haven't used them yet. Going for something like an Ad Nauseam or something to really gain a lot of advantage on the table in this position, I think might be better than trying to go for the reactive Cyclonic Rift, but not dying is really important in the game of Magic, so I get it. Upkeep on a roll for crit. That's uh, four. I'll take three. Um, I will draw a card. I am going to the 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 fact you just have the rift there is very annoying. But I think you just play war room. Yeah, I think I just attack you with late balls here. Yeah, fifteen fifteen commander damage. Declare attackers. I will seven. Here's an overloaded rift. Yeah, so these are all been picked up. Here's Tivit. I'll vote for... I'm going to respond to Fella Trigger. I'm going to cast a Vampiric Tutor. So that is fine for me. Yeah. Guess who's getting a Command Tower, baby? <laughs> hey. Go to 38. Tivit good. So I did this in response to Seth's trigger to start getting treasures, which do I really believe that Seth is going to get out this oppo agent to steal this vampiric tutor from me when I'm so far behind? Probably not. But if he's got an A piece to a B piece in his deck in his hand, he's going to go for that vampiric tutor for sure. So if I can play around it, I'm going to. All right. Uh, I'll vote for two treasures. Clue? Uh, yeah, I'm also voting clue here. Uh, I'll abstain. Okay. <laughs> Let's go play Mana Crypt. Play Light Paws. Mm -hmm. Um, cast Lash Knife. Okay. Uh, tapping Light Paws. Uh, if that resolves, I'm, I'd like to search my library. Good by me. I am going to go get Daybreak Cornet. I am going to tap Nykthos for four mana. Oh boy. I think I'm going to three cast you the knife. I will tap two and draw a card quickly. Uh, it resolves. Delightful. Um, so I'm gonna have the trigger for a nice one yeah. white floating then. And I'd like to search. Yeah, I'm just gonna get um, Mask of Long Grace. Um, I still have the one mana floating. I'm gonna Duty and Reason. So I'm gonna search for another one drop. I'm going to get a Hyena Umbra. And I will pass. So obviously Billy not playing out the Torpor Orb here is going to have a huge effect on this game because we know I've got Dockside Extortion is coming, but I don't necessarily agree with his decision here to just try to build up his board again. Especially getting Hyena Umbra, which has Totem Armor, it's going to allow him to fade a lot of spot removal, which might end up being pretty important. I will untap upkeep and draw. I will play a Command Tower as promised. I will cast a Dockside Extortionist, which is why I was going to call Billy the C-word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will crack this club. Okay. Responsible. Carry on. Okay. I'm going to make, what do we say, 13? I think it's just 10 now. Because I have oh, one, you two, cracked. three. Okay. Let's use one of them on a Mystic Remora. I will use one of them well. for a Dark Ritual. I'll add three black and use one more for green to cast a Toski Bearer of Secrets. I will go down to four treasures to cast Najila, <laughs> the Blade Blossom. Yep. And I will pass the turn. 
That's solid. We're not dead. Mm -hmm. I wish. I wish I had a Nazim in my hand. So yeah, Seth was right. I did get this show the table my whole hand when I played it out. Uh, unfortunately, I would rather have had any action spell to just win the game, but that's not what happened. Draw. Here's a sea of clouds. I'll play a ranger captain. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Search my library. Yeah, uh, I'm going to get the, the sentinel. Mm -hmm. I'll play Asper, and then I will pass the turn. I'll roll for crypt. That's a five. I'm safe. I will draw for turn. Oh, man, that's so unfortunate. Okay. Seth, are you going to win on your turn? No. Maybe you should um, not the ranger captain and Billy's upkeep. Could have. Still time. Um, I can block Billy, though. I mean, yeah, for now, right? For now. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, hey, Dan, are you going to win on your turn? No, I, I would have done it on my turn if I was going to. <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, I could... I mean, I can't, I don't have priority right now, but we could say we're in, you just drew for your turn, right, Billy? Mm hmm Yeah, I mean, I can still pop it, like, right now. The you can do whatever you want. It's a thought. Mm hmm Billy's probably going to kill one of us. Yeah, you know what? Sure, I'm in for that. Pop Ranger Captain. Cool. In response, I would like to play, uh, try Clopian Sight. Right, that flash. does have flash. Trigger the Remora. Uh, you can draw a card. I'm going to go... Search for uh, Spirit Mantle. That gives protection from creatures. It does. Maybe. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I, I'm, I'm debating... Seth, how many cards do you have in hand? I have three cards in hand. I feel like I'm like afraid of Dan just winning that. Again, I, I would have done it already if I could. I guess, yeah, because I guess you already have four. Like, I don't know. Um, okay, that's so if you trust them. That That is true. Well, when have I ever shown myself to not be a greedy bastard in the game of Magic the Gathering? Is this is this a kill, though? I don't... I have no, no. idea. If it was, like, if... I, I was thinking about the All That Glitters that is in Billy's hand, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, still in my hand, yeah. That yeah, would but, have been legal, but, I think. I don't know, I'm pretty sure, but I, I guess I didn't six. do the math. Yeah, because I don't, I don't have the Ethereal Armor in play either. And, like, I haven't dealt damage to either of you. I think I think Dan actually attacked you here, then. I think that makes the most sense. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack you for for eight you got it no blocks going to 30. so this is a super crucial piece of politicking on my part in this scenario my new gila lines are shut off without enough opponents to be able to trigger them i might be able to get a derevi line off but it's going to be kind of hard basically i'm all in on my combo lines at this point and i'm never going to be able to get them off with this ranger captain on board i really need seth to get rid of this thing and also we do need to survive this i know that billy's got all the glitters in hand i know that he can merc one of us there's no telling who it's going to be Seth is more ahead on board, so it sort of makes sense for Billy to go after Seth and then come after me later. So it's not exactly not in Seth's best interest to spend the Ranger Captain here, but obviously it's really good for me. Cool. I'll gain eight. I'll go to 42. Thinking retrospect, I should have Cyclonic Rifted in your end step, Billy. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because well, it wasn't a little put the pressure that. on you with attacking you. I think mm -hmm. in Billy's position, I would have attacked me because I feel like Seth would have let me gotten away with it. Yeah, probably. No, I I want opponents in the game, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that's true. I wouldn't have been uh, dead. I just would have been beaten up. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. That's true. Um, I, I will... Think, I'll pass after I that. Guess, I don't know. I will untap. I have a Remora trigger, and I will pay for it. Because what the hell else are we doing in life? I will it's draw for turn. It's a land drop. It's like a Lotus Petal. <laughs> Here's an Underground Sea. It's my land for turn. Let's go to combat. And I'm going to attack... Uh, Seth, with all of my creatures, I'll create a 1-1 one, one warrior. Everything coming through? Yep, you're all set. Okay, I'll have four Toski triggers. Heck yeah, you will. One, Pretty solid. Two. Three. Four, it's gotta be good! Ugh, was a land. God damn, there's all the lands. <laughs> <sighs> that sucks. That just sucks. That's what happens when you play lands in your deck. Well, you Work could see I was trying not to. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I've just got infinite mana and seven cards in hand and not a single action spell to speak of. This is the worst day of my life. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to pass. Here's a Forbidden Orchard. Uh, uh, here's three help. mana for a Praetor's Grasp. Um, nice. Dan, I'm going to target you. Trigger. Yep. Sure got it. Yeah, I think this is kind of the the go for it because I'm dead next turn for sure. Yeah, 
I probably would if I was I'll, I'll hit Ad Nauseam, and then I'll go ahead and cast it, so you can just put it right into your graveyard. I was lying. Ad Nauseam is in my hand. No, I'm just kidding. It's in my Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the old one, too. No, I got you. Um, been here. Oh, did I did I miscount? Yeah, I think I miscounted. I tap three for this. This is three, four. I have no mana left over, but we're, we're doing it anyway. We're casting Ad Nauseam. You're 31 life. Yeah, uh, what yeah. could go wrong, right? There you go. There's your Nas. I'm going to trigger this Remora. Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. That is a Vault of Champions. Okay. This yeah. is a Silence. Okay. This is a Swan Song. Force of Negation. Spot here. Unfortunately, I don't think that we can plow Light Paws. I think it has Hexproof or something. It That's a Toxic Deluge. That does kill Light Paws. Oh. That's yeah, a do of that. Flash Airs. Also kills Light Paws. Yeah, do that. Heuristic Study. Uh, notably, none of this uh, is any mana. There's an Oppo. Oppo's pretty good. It's Dark Ritual. Talisman. Well, I guess for me, I just thought the light paws had protection from everything Dispel. or something. Mm -mm. Vampiric nope. Tutor. Model. Uh, we're in the risky territory. You're down to five. I have my own add dogs that I could hit. Mm -hmm. You didn't draw any mana though. I think you have to. Keep literal, going. literal zero mana. And if I had, if I had, you know, just one untapped mana, that would be fine. Oh wait, who got your uh, spirit? Oh, that's a good point. Um, you know, Dan, you can have it because it blocks light paws. Thank you. It doesn't. I have my pro creature. I pro creature. Oh, you have pro creatures. Well, that counts. <laughs> I think you have to keep going, but you absolutely have to keep going. I mean, you're at five. Yeah, because I'm die. just dead here, right? No matter yeah. what. So, demonic consultation, water grave, a war stone. Oof. You're at two. Uh, you just you just gotta die to your own ad at this point. I mean, you have you still. I guess you don't have any mana, Blue right? Delta. Marsh left. Uh, it's, it's prolonged. We're still here. Flooded Strand. Jeez. Still going. Mental misstep. <laughs> oh my god, it's so, it's so hurtful. Oh boy. Um, just one just one source of mana would be real nice. I believe in uh, you. Well, could you well, even Chrome, do it with one? No, don't you need to? Don't you need to go like <laughs> Lotus Petal Mox Opal? Yeah, to start, to start doing anything? No, but Lotus Petal kills Light Paws. And then I'm just dead to you. I'm not, well, I guess I would. Well, no, I guess I would kill you. I don't even no. think that I can. Win. Like I think you're no, because I yeah. As soon as I get I get five artifacts and then I I take an extra turn and then I'm not dead. Oh, yet. there you go. Yeah. It, it, so I yeah, if you can get two mana, you can probably get it. Not dead yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, dead to the oh, mana yeah. drain. Uh, so it goes. That's life in the big city. I may as well yeah. keep going. Here's... That's true. You can keep doing that, I guess. Done. Yeah. Because you don't die until yet. the spell is done resolving. <laughs> Oh, there's the Lotus Petal and the Mox Opal. See, they were right next to each other the whole time. Wow, they were actually one two punch. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. So, obviously, with the grass, there's a lot of different lines that Seth could have taken here. It's possible he could have gone for my Demonic Tutor, go get his own Time Sib, and take an extra turn. But you have to remember that Tivit is still under the Onthan Ice at this point, so he doesn't necessarily just get Tivit back and win the game. He needs to draw the correct pieces to do that. Maybe there's a different advantage spell that he could have gone for, but I think this might have been his best option. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is there a different line he could have gone for in this position? I priority first, right? Mm -hmm. So, end of, end of turn, I'm going to tap, uh, activate Nykthos for a lot of mana. Ten? I would like to activate War Room and pay a life. I will respond to that. Billy, I'm going to target you with intuition. Oh, spicy. Yeah, okay. cool. Can you tell me what your creature has protection from right now? All colors besides white and creatures. The pile is Final Fortune, Swords to Plowshares, Odawara, Soaring City. You can have swords. Okay. That's a bummer to hear, but it doesn't have protection from white, right? It doesn't, no. You can target it right now. I'm going to. With this War Room activation still on the stack, mm -hmm. I am going to use one of my treasures for a white, and I'm going to target your fella with swords. I'm going to cast a uh, Blacksmith Skill. It's a pretty good one. I have a draw trigger from Mystic Remora. I will pay it. I was hoping okay. for Rebuff the Wicked. Wow. You can pay for it. You paid four mm -hmm. mana for that? Yeah, I mean, I had 10 from the Nick, though. That's wild, man. I guess uh, I'm going to pack the thing. I'm actually okay with that. Okay. That's fine. So this will be exiled. I'll gain uh, eight life. These will all go to the graveyard. Uh, War room activation is now good. All, all right. right. My turn then. Upkeep. I'm going to roll some crits. Two. I will take three damage. I will draw for my turn. Yeah. We're gonna. We're just going to play Light Paw. And I'm going to pay two cast Torpor Orb. 
Yeah. And then I'll I'll pass. I will untap. I have a pack trigger and a remora trigger. I will let the remora go. I will pay five mana to not die to pact. Good call. I will draw for turn. Okay. Exotic Orchard. Toski, Warrior, Spirit, Dockside coming at you. So this is just a small criticism, but I shouldn't have played that Exotic Orchard pre-combat. I'm about to draw as many as four, maybe five cards, and one of them is probably going to be a land, and it's probably going to be better than a basic planes. But I just wasn't thinking hard enough about it. Do you you make another warrior when it attack? Uh, yes, that is correct. I do make one more warrior, and it's also attacking you. Cool. So I'll just I'll block one of the warriors. It'll be four damage coming through. I have four draw triggers. Lotus Petal. I will put Silence on the stack. Sure. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. I will cast a Mana Crypt. Sacrifice sure. this petal for red to cast an Underworld Breach. One floating. Oof. Oh boy. So I got to get rid of a Torpor Orb, but that's doable. Cast LED. I'll sacrifice it for blue. And discarding Brain Freeze, Esper Sentinel, Force of Will, March, and Scalding Tarn. Three blue and one colorless in the pool. I'm going to escape the Lion's Eye Diamond. And mm -hmm. I'll sacrifice this for blue again, go up to six. I will escape this again, exile one, two, three sacrifice it again for blue and go up to nine i am going to cast an intuition targeting you billy uh so choices <laughs> cyclonic rift sevens reclamation and grand abolisher it doesn't really matter right so yeah. i'm just gonna uh give you abolisher these two will go to the bin i am going to escape some cards to cast the cyclonic rift targeting your proper orb and then I would like to present a loop where I brain freeze myself and win with Thassa's Oracle. So obviously there's a lot of ways that I could have gone about this here. I didn't have to take as many steps as I did. I could have just brain freeze Billy and passed the turn. But if I have him under a silence, there's no reason to give Billy an extra turn or any extra outs to this game. I'm just going to get him dead on this turn under the silence. Oh my gosh. The no lander prevails. Nice. Wow. Yeah. That was that was wildly good. That was mm -hmm. such a game. Wow. That was a really yeah. cool one. Well, that was a super awesome game. Thank you so much to my guests for joining me. Billy is the host of a wonderful modern podcast called The Dark Death Podcast with Michael Maps, and Go check that out. Obviously, you can check out Tyler on Play to Win, and you can catch Seth all around the country at your local Magic events judging him. Go down below this video right now in the video description. Find links to all other work and go support the show. Really appreciate you all hanging out with us today. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, one of the best ways to support us is by leaving a comment and hitting that like and subscribe button. It's incredibly helpful and always appreciated. If you want to support the channel more directly, join our Patreon to catch episodes early, join our private Discord, and get some other awesome benefits. One final thank you to all of our patrons who make great content like this possible. And thank you for watching. Be good to yourself, everyone.